are several things that one can measure for patients with lupus and we are trying to find out what all is important to measure and for that we try and find all this information from patients themselves uh, even though we are knowledgeable about what the disease uh, causes what kind of symptoms but we as physicians want to look at all the information from patient standpoint so we do um, a lot of interviews from patients and based on that what we figured so far is that um, the disease affects their day-to-day -day functioning with in terms of their physical abilities to do uh, uh, work it could be say lifting things or um, say their abilities to do um, uh, do day-to-day -day things like family responsibilities, fulfilling their roles as, uh, say, being the main finance person at home, uh, being the breadwinner or taking care of kids. Um, there is also how much pain they have, how tired do they get from lupus. Uh, a lot of patients tell us that they wake up feeling like not refreshed in the morning and tired and achy. Um, those are important, how they feel about their body because of the disease uh, or their abilities as they're decreased or what it looks like or maybe they don't have control over their body functions because of the disease, how it affects them emotionally, um, stress that it can cause or it can cause depression, anxiety, um, all those issues are related. Specifically in lupus, we are also concerned about how it affects their sexual function, intimacy, uh, or any issues related with uh, pregnancy, birth control, um, whenever applicable in that age group, uh, whether it's men, women, how it affects their concentration, say, memory. Um, and then there are other issues that may not be directly related to their health, but indirectly are. In our research, we are finding that those issues are very important also. Say how the disease or its treatment is affecting their education or career development or their job performance or being able to, being able to retain a job or to be hired as a, uh, hired at the first place. Um, things like what kind of social support structure do they have? Are they happy with their medical care that they receive? So it's uh, because the disease presents in so many different ways, um, we are trying to capture all that information from a patient's perspective. And hence the kind of symptoms and areas affected by them are very varied and a whole spectrum full of uh, areas. How we are gathering that is using a tool, which is a survey tool called Lupus Pro, and Pro stands for Patient Reported Outcomes. Um, that is the information is coming directly from patients. And uh, like I said, it's a survey tool. It has some easy questions uh, that are easy to read and understand. And uh, we offer these surveys to patients that uh, are coming to see us in the clinic while they're waiting to be placed into the rooms. And we hand them the survey so nobody is sitting uh, or telling them what to fill. They have their own privacy to fill it while, being, while waiting to see the doctor. Once they filled that, then the doctor, when they see the doctor, we review that survey and sometimes we are able to identify issues that patient has not communicated directly to us because of several reasons, say they are shy or there's less time or we never asked. And um, looking at the survey responses, we can not only gauge how their quality of life is on day-to-day -day level, but also see it as a screening tool to initiate discussion or make a referral or treatment changes. There are two purposes. One is how the survey is used to take care of patients on a day-to-day -day basis, to connect with the patient, to understand what is happening to them. So that, by just looking at the form when the patient has filled that in the clinic while they're seeing the physician, we can take a look at that, uh, each and every item, and screen it and do something, make some changes in their treatment or afford them. So that is right there and then. But on the other hand, yes, we can enter this information for research also as a part of study if we have approval from the patients and their consent and they're willing to participate. Uh, we, do, we can enter these into research studies and use them to understand what kind of treatments actually make a difference to which parts of their quality of life in the long run because we don't have that information quite a lot and that to using some tool that's so specific for lupus patients. It would give us the ability to see 
if I start them on any treatment, whether that is medications or just say putting them on depression medication or decreasing their dose of medicine, whether it is making a good effect or a bad effect on their day-to-day -day quality of life if I keep following that over time. We developed this because there were no other tools that specifically measured or included all the information that we thought or patients thought were pertinent to them in their day-to-day -day living. Um, as what I found are very important observations, first of all, that body image is very important to patients as to what do they think about their body, whether it is what appearance changes happen from the disease or, it, or its treatment, weight-related changes, scars, hair loss, or even related to the function of the body. And now we have gone on to also um, try a small pilot intervention, meaning uh, something where where we intervene um, and give some behavioral therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, or say just some training in cosmetics uh, to improve body image. And we're finding that it actually, this intervention makes an improvement in their body image. And with the resulting improvement, their depression improves over time, and so does their quality of life. We think that when somebody feels uh, good about themselves, that all this ties up back to how your health is overall, whether it is physical health also or emotional health. These things are all intertied with each other. Like I said, that it improves depression and quality of life. But our next phase of study would include how this also, if there is a decrease in the number of flares patients have, or the medications, or how often can do they follow up with treatment, um, things of that sort. So we do want to study that as the next step. Mm -hmm.